friends welcome to my workplace at rana ghat west bengal india this is fecomal specification of a posterior subcapsular cataract this is a totally unedited recording and you are going to watch each and every step of this surgery this is the main incision it's a posterior limbal incision viscoelastic substance is then in injected into the anterior chamber and now this is a paracentesis on the right side of the main incision and this is another paracentesis on the left side of the main incision and now capsular axis the anterior capsule is incised with a 26 gauge bent needle and a capsular tag is raised i hold this tag with eight data forceps go anti clockwise try to remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the pupil and thus in most of the cases i manage to get a round rexis and now hydro dissection bss is passed just under the anterior capsular rim here it is bss is passed the fluid wave goes to the opposite equator Hydro delineation is also done, passing fluid wave between the nucleus and epinucleus. And now, since this is a very soft cataract, let us see how we can divide this nucleus into several parts. Here it is. I go bevel down, remove some superficial cortical lens matter. Turn the handpiece, make it bevel off. Now bury the teeth just in front of the main incision, and here it is. Being in irrigation or very minimal vacuum, I use the chopper to cut the nucleus into several parts. So in soft cataracts. If you use very low vacuum, you can make the nucleus stable and you can use your chopper to slice the nucleus into several parts. And now the epinucleus is removed. This is the epinucleus and that's it. The nucleus and epinucleus is managed. And now visco is injected and in this case a 23 gauze Simco cannula is being used to remove the cortical lens matter. The Simco cannula is attached to a 10 cc glass syringe. Yes. So the lens matter has been removed. I didn't have to go through the side port. In many cases we can manage going through the main incision. And now the intraocular lens is to be implanted in the capsular bag. In this case we have selected Hoya on 50 it's a non-aspheric, hydrophobic, monofocal intraocular lens. And here goes the lens. Yes. The lens is in the capsular bag. And now the viscoelastic substance that has been used to fill up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag has to be removed thoroughly. I use both Simco and bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove the viscoelastic substance that is 2% SPMC. In this, at this time the 23 gauze Simco cannula is being used. First I irrigate 
for some time irrigate the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and then aspirate for some time about 70% viscoelastic substance comes out by this maneuver and now I use the irrigating probe of Humbai manual IA irrigate the anterior chamber and the capsular bag for some more time and at this time when I am irrigating the capsular bag the fluid wave polishes the posterior capsule and now the irrigation and aspiration is being used together and now I am sure that almost 100% viscoelastic substance has been removed and now this is moxifloxacin now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration corneal stroma on either side of these step wounds are hydrated and these step incisions become autotight. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber with balanced salt solution. And now the anterior chamber is formed nicely and the integrity of the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any side and the intraocular pressure should be on the higher side. That's it. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, compassion, empathy and great competence.